see here you register today you pay your fees and your registration fee you're getting the admission immediately do you understand there are different kind of visas okay like i said you can actually decide to get like a student visa that is if you are here to school okay or probably you can decide to start up a business here in rwanda and guys starting a business here in rwanda is actually free of charge like you're not paying anything to start set up your business here in rwanda hi guys so i've received a lot of message from a lot of you asking me how can i move to rwanda what's the visa option all of those questions cost of living in rwanda all of those questions has dropped on my dm on instagram and i can't just answer one person and leave the order okay yeah so that's why i'm doing this video today okay guys in case you're seeing my face for the first time you are welcome to the channel this is niger princess and it's so amazing to have you drop by okay thank you so much for clicking uh yeah my returning subscribers thank you so much for also clicking and in case you have not subscribed this is the best time for you to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up too okay don't forget that okay so guys today we're talking about how you can move to rwanda yeah because you might decide to move to kigali or you can, might decide to move to other parts of rwanda now uh rwanda is a country in east africa yeah and yeah i'm a nigerian youtuber and i live here in the city of kigali rwanda which is like the capital of rwanda okay so yeah there are a lot of people here different countries people doing their businesses people going to schools all of those things here okay so how can you actually come so you have to know that coming to rwanda is visa free especially if you're coming from nigeria i don't know for other parts but i feel uh i think a lot of countries actually benefit from this uh free visa option for rwanda okay so if you're coming from yeah any part of the world okay you can just research and find out if uh if your country is part of the visa free countries that can come to rwanda you know yeah <laughs> so when you get into uh rwanda of course you're going to receive a 30 days free visa okay so with that 30 days free visa you're free to stay in this country for 30 days without any form of visa okay except for that 30 days yeah then after the 30 days you can actually renew your visa for another three months okay so you can only renew once okay which is like the three months that you will be given okay so as after that you are expected to either you leave the country or probably you set up a business here or you know or maybe you get a job or set up a business or uh or maybe you came here for schooling whatever your plans are okay and you want to stay you need to choose option for your stay okay so for uh there are different kind of visas okay like i said you can actually decide to get like a student visa that is if you are here to school okay or probably you can decide to start up a business here in rwanda and guys starting a business here in rwanda is actually free of charge like you're not paying anything to start set up your business here in rwanda you know if you want to set up a business you must register your business okay here register your business registration is free for every nationality okay it's not just for rwandese yeah so once you register your business you now need to set up like uh a business center i don't know this bee just came <laughs> yeah a fly or bee i don't know whatever it is yeah so uh you need to register your business after you register your business you need to set up like a business center like uh, yeah like a shop or a business center where uh the immigration will come to check out the business center you know the officials need to come check out where your business is situated then yeah after that you can be given maybe a one year permit okay some people actually told me that they got six months okay but i don't know why maybe it depends on the kind of business or whatever yeah but majorly majorly most of the people i know get one year permit okay business permit okay then which can be renewed every year okay so if you are here for school okay you also get one year permit so let's say your course is a three years course for a uh, bachelor's degree because bachelor's degree over here is three years okay so let's say your course is three years course you actually get a uh, one year uh, one year permit every year which you can renew every year then if you're uh you're doing masters masters is for one year 
yeah you get one yeah okay so and if it's for six months course like the short courses the certificate courses yeah you still get the same okay yeah so that's it for staying here in rwanda so now for cost of coming to rwanda it actually depends on where you are coming from okay you need to budget your flight okay need to budget your flight how much is very important that like i always advise people like get a flight booked like a month before your trip okay don't just um don't just book your flight the day of trip it's going to be more expensive so get your flight booked uh a month before your trip okay or two months before your trip to make it lesser so you book your flight and uh, you need to have a a covid vaccination card okay you need to be fully vaccinated yeah that's the first and the second dose for people who's taking like you know those vaccines that actually has two doses there are some that is just one okay so yeah then uh you need to have uh, a yellow fever vaccine card okay you need to come with your yellow fever vaccine card that's a yellow card okay then you need to have a proof of a uh, accommodation you need to have a proof of accommodation and every other thing <laughs> like you need to have a proof of, of accommodation then you must your flight must be a return ticket like you must have the yeah of course you know that whenever you're traveling it must be a return ticket you can't come in with just one ticket okay it must be a return ticket if you're coming into rwanda so when you come in you just get one uh yeah one month uh visa then very importantly it's very important that you have some cash with you don't come empty like don't come empty rwanda is expensive i'm not going to i don't know how long i'm going to sound this okay every in fact every country is expensive really so don't come without having enough funds in your hands you need money okay in fact they're going to ask you okay a friend of mine came in the other day and was asked how much he came in with okay so it's very important that you come with cash don't come empty don't just blow and come okay no it's not a place where you're coming for escape because houses are here are expensive houses here are expensive and they're paid monthly okay so you need a shelter there's no there's no place to go and sleep there's no bridge here so don't think about it please get have enough money that can you know keep you here okay comfortably keep you here so houses just depends on the kind of houses that you want but of course you know that when you come in either you stay in an airbnb or maybe you stay in a hotel so if you want if you're looking for where to stay when you come into rwanda okay please just check out my yeah check out the link to my instagram and hit me up okay yeah for accommodation in in rwanda now if you're looking for how to settle like you want to know everything about settling here comfortably so a friend of mine has a guide for moving to rwanda okay and yeah moving to kigali actually so it's a guide for everything that you need to know how to set up your business how to the best places to live in kigali everything that you need to stay here in kigali comfortably whether you're moving with family anything that you want and yeah it's very cheap it's actually twenty thousand naira. i think that's around uh maybe 45 dollars or so yeah so that's what it's worth it's not expensive so you can just check the link in my description and you know go get yours it's very very affordable and you don't need to ask plenty questions again because all your questions has been answered there now guys you know because rwanda is actually very easy to migrate to some people don't know that you can actually move to rwanda without a visa and you can you know you don't you don't need an agent to help you process something you know all of those things people don't know okay but this guide will help you to do all your preparation yourself without the help of any agent okay don't don't be deceived don't let anybody deceive you without the help of any agent this guide is going to help you yeah to set up your business so many people have talked about this guide it has helped them to migrate to rwanda easily some of them settled in one week because everything is so easy getting admission you can get admission like right now <laughs> yeah right now like if your children anybody's looking for where to you know you you have a child that is about to enter into the university and you know jam in nigeria and all of that see here you register today you pay your fees and your registration fee you're getting the admission immediately 
do you understand? Like you don't have to go back home and come back. I said maybe system is 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 rare, or maybe you went late and officials has to go home. Then, of course, you can do. You can come back the next day, but your admission letter, everything will be ready. And the school will also give you, you know, paper that can cover up, you know, for you to apply for your visa. All of these things are something you might not know, even the cost of schooling and all. I might do that in my next video, but everything that you need is in that guide, okay? Moving to Kali, okay? So, yeah, it's uh, a book from, it's a guide from a friend of mine, and it's the link to purchase it is actually in the description. So go to the description right now and just smash it. And of course, go get that guide because everything is so easy for you. Don't, don't be deceived. Don't let anybody charge you money. Registration of business is free. Everything is free. Okay, so easy to move here. Very easy to move here. But lack of information might not help you. Okay, she will not do you any good. So you need the information, you know, to relocate to this place and stay comfortably. So that's what that guide will help you do. Okay, guys. So so thank you so much for watching my video in case you have any question please drop it at the comment section if there's anything you want me to talk about rwanda or kigali please also drop it at the comment section and trust me i am going to answer that in my next video or my next next video or whatever <laughs> guys if you have not subscribed to the channel this is the best time for you to hit the subscribe button give the video a thumbs up yeah if you actually did good for you okay give it a thumbs up and see you on my next video guys invite your friends to watch okay i'm giving you loads of information here free of charge <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching and bye